we know the process to calculate the region of convergence using the condition for existence of Laplace transform but there is one easy and shortcut method to calculate region of convergence and in this lecture we will understand the shortcut method and the shortcut method is having two steps in step number one we compare sigma which is the real part of complex variable s so we compare the real part of s which is sigma with the real part of the coefficient of t in power of e for example let's say there is time domain signal ft and it is equal to e power minus at u minus t and according to step number one we need to compare sigma with the real part of the coefficient of t in the power of exponential so we will focus on the power of exponential we're having in the time domain signal and the power is minus a t and the coefficient of t the coefficient of t is equal to minus a and minus a is purely real there is no imaginary part in the coefficient of t we are having only real part which is minus a and we have to compare sigma with the real part of coefficient of t this means we will compare sigma with minus a now the relation between sigma and minus a will be obtained from step number two and according to step number two we need to check if the signal is left sided or right sided if the signal is left sided we will have less than sign between sigma and minus a and if the signal is right sided we will have greater than sign between sigma and minus a in this case we are having u minus t multiplied to the exponential and we know the waveform of u minus t it is like this and you can clearly see that we have a left sided signal we have a left sided signal and when this left sided signal is multiplied by the exponential the overall signal will remain left sided and as we have the left sided signal we will have less than sign between sigma and minus a so we have the region of convergence for signal ft it is sigma less than minus a so you can see that the process which i am calling as shortcut method to calculate roc is very easy and simple to implement now we will solve three examples to understand this method in a better way in the first example we are having the time domain signal ft and it is equal to e power 5 plus 3jt multiplied to u minus t minus 5 we will follow the step number one we will compare sigma with the real part of the coefficient of t in power of exponential the power of exponential is equal to 5 plus 3j multiplied to t and t is having the coefficient 5 plus 3j and the real part of the coefficient is 5 so in the solution we will compare sigma with the real part which is 5 and to get the relation between sigma and 5 we will follow step number 2 we will check if the signal ft is left sided or right sided try to plot the waveform of u minus t minus 5 and once you have the waveform you will find u minus t minus 5 is a left sided signal and when exponential is multiplied to the left sided signal ft will remain left sided so we will have less than sign between sigma and 5 so in this way we have our region of convergence as sigma less than 5 now we will move to the example number 2 in example number 2 we have the time domain signal ft equal to e power 3t ut plus e power minus 2t u minus t and as we have decent practice of the shortcut method we will try to obtain the region of convergence quickly in example number two 
we have signal FT which is combination of two signals. The first one is E power 3T UT and the second one is E power minus 2T U minus T and we will obtain the region of convergences for the two signals separately and once we have the two ROCs we will combine them to get the ROC of signal FT. So let's quickly obtain the ROC 1 which is the ROC of the first signal and for this we will compare sigma with the real part of coefficient of t and the real part is equal to 3. And to get the relation between sigma and 3 we will focus on ut and ut is a right sided signal therefore we will have a greater than sign between sigma and 3 and in this way we have the first region of convergence sigma greater than 3 is our ROC1. Now we will calculate the ROC for the second signal. We will compare sigma with the real part of the coefficient of t which is minus 2. And the sign we will have between sigma and minus 2 is the sign of less than because here we have u minus t and u minus t is left sided signal. So in this way we have obtained our second ROC as well, ROC2 and now we will try to have the common region of convergence. So let's quickly try to plot the two region of convergences. First we will plot ROC1. Let's say sigma is equal to 3 here and according to ROC1 sigma should be greater than 3. So if we draw a line sigma equal to 3 all the region on the right hand side of this line will denote sigma greater than 3 and now we will plot the ROC2 and for this we will first locate sigma equal to minus 2. Let's say this point here is having sigma equal to minus 2 and we will draw a straight line sigma equal to minus 2 and according to ROC2 sigma should be less than minus 2. This means all the region on the left hand side of the line sigma equal to minus 2 and you can clearly see that we don't have any common ROC. No common region of convergence. This implies there is no Laplace transform. So before calculating the Laplace transform it is always advisable to check ROC first. Because in this case you can clearly see that we don't have common ROC therefore the Laplace transform will not exist. So this is the solution of the second example. Now we will move to our third example. In this example we have a time domain signal ft equal to e power minus 2t. We have a negative sign here multiplied to u minus t u minus t plus e power minus 3t multiplied to ut and this problem is homework problem for you. You need to find the common region of convergence and once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section and try to have a good practice of the shortcut method because we will use it in the coming examples. So this is all see you in the next one.